question 13, you have a, a graph with two points, A at minus 1, 2, and B at 7, 5. A, find the coordinates of the midpoint of A, B. So the midpoint of A and B. So the way we do that, we're going to take the, equa uh, the coordinates of A, which is minus 1, 2. B is at 7, 5. Now what we need to do is get the points in between each one. Remember, that's where you are on the x-axis. It moves from minus 1 on the x-axis to B, which is at 7 on the x-axis. You might be able to tell it's 8. From minus 1 to 7, it's 8. So halfway is going to be adding 4, which gives you 3. If you're ever unsure, you can just put the x coordinate is going to be minus 1 plus 7 over 2. Because basically you're adding them together and then dividing by 2. So minus 1 add 7 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So we knew that. And then the y is in between the 2 and the 5, which maybe is a bit harder because from 2 to 5 is 3 places, so half of 3 is 1.5. So you'd have to add 1.5 to 2, which is 3.5. But you can still do it the other way. You can take the y coordinates. You can do 2 plus 5 divided by 2. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Divide by 2 is 3.5. So you end up with a y coordinate of 3.5. But basically, just remember that the midpoint is in between each one. In between, exactly in between. And that's how you find how far in between is. You just add them together, divide by 2. Right, next part. P. So two new points. P is the point minus 4 to 4. Q is the point 1 to minus 5. Find the gradient of PQ. Now, the thing to remember now is a gradient is how far up something goes divided by how far across something goes. Okay. Now remember that the up part of the uh, coordinates is the Y because it's the y-axis that goes up and down so we can find out how far up it's gone by checking the distance between 4 and minus 5 and across, it's going across from minus 4 to 1 okay, so it goes from minus 4 up to 1, so how far across is that? that's 5 and here it goes from 4 and it's actually going down to minus 5 so how far is that? It's minus 9, isn't it? That's how far it's going down. So, up, it's going from 4 down to minus 5, that's minus 9 going down. And across, it's gone from minus 4, remember x is across, x is actually across as well. It goes from minus 4 to 1. So that is 5. So the gradient is minus 9 over 5, which you could just give it as that, whatever you want to do as a decimal. That would be minus 9 divided by 5, which is minus 